Okay, so today we're going to be doing a video on Doom 2016 using the Steam Deck. We're going to be running the game at native resolution of 800p and we're going to be starting it off at the lowest settings. And as always, if you like what you see, sub to the channel, we'll have you appreciate it as well. Alright, let's get going with the low preset. Now this game, on the first boot, shows OpenGL. But I thought since we're running in an AMD system, we should go ahead and use Vulkan, since that does normally uh, make it run better. But with Vulkan, it actually ran worse. We were getting 60 FPS in the easier scenes, like in the opening area. But once I panned to the actual fire pit in the middle, and the main the main hallway that you're actually supposed to go through, it dropped down to 30 FPS on the lowest settings 800p, which was like, that's kind of weird. This shouldn't be running like this. So I reset it, I brought it back to OpenGL, and this is how it's running right now. It's running super smooth. It's pretty much a consistent 60. We can get above 60 as well, or creating 70, 80 as well in the intro. So yeah, you want to actually choose OpenGL instead of Vulkan. But by default, it will choose OpenGL. I should also mention that with uh, Vulkan, it would not go past 60 FPS. I checked the resync settings and it was off and it wouldn't go past 60. GP was sitting at like 50%, 55%, so it wasn't even being fully used. But OpenGL, we pretty much in the 90s. Pretty much maxed out. And uh, we're pulling 25 watts. Alright, it's like an hour and a half of battery life. But we're doing 90 FPS, almost 100 FPS, which is crazy. The game looks super crisp with a small screen at 100p. There's no lag spikes either, it's just, it's very smooth. Okay, we just got one there as soon as I say that. But, for the majority of the time, I don't really experience any stuttering or any lagging. It was super smooth. Now, we'll be trying out FSR 30 FPS, 40 FPS as well. But first, let's go ahead and try out medium settings. Alright, jumping up to medium settings, 800p. The game looks really good. If you've seen how this game looks on the Switch, this is a major improvement in how it runs and how it looks. Wow, we're actually falling to the 40s already in this scene. Still feels fine though. FPS is far more, far more inconsistent though. Maybe this is a more intensive area because there's so many enemies, but... I think we'll figure out if we want to cap it at 40 or 30 or 60 even. I'm pretty sure we can have it capped to 60 without any, without any like major frame drops, but... We're going to be sticking to low settings if you want to be running the game at a consistent 60. I'm wondering how we can run this game at high and ultra. Hopefully we can run it at least at 35, 40. But maybe that's asking too much. This game is very well optimized. So we might be able to actually play this at ultra settings. But the sweet spot is probably medium settings I would say. And with a 40 FPS cap. Because our lowest FPS that I saw was like 45. So we're still above that 40 FPS limit. Which is really nice. And we can always just play at the lowest settings. This game does still look really good at low. And you'll have high frame rate, and you have more options, I guess, with how you want to play the game. Now, this is also the first game that I've actually tested that uses uh, the built-in gyro by default. It's kind of weird, but I guess you can always turn it off if you don't like it as well. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and play at high settings. Alright, now I did actually play a little bit longer on medium settings just to see how it ran on this level. And it was around 45 FPS at the lowest points and 60 to 70 FPS at the at its peak, I guess, or at its average. Average was around 60 and peak was 70. So, still really good. We're playing at high settings now. FPS seems very similar to low settings. It's it's usually hovering around 50 to 60 FPS with dips into the 40s. But this game feels really good. So you can totally get away with playing this game at high settings as well. We're actually playing around 20 watts, which is two hours of battery life at full capacity. That's pretty good. Two hours, I guess it's, I guess it's not the best, but for a game like this, at 60 FPS, it's, it's pretty good. Now, I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but even though we are falling to the 50s and 40s, or the high 40s, I can't really tell. If I don't look at the actual overlay, it doesn't feel like I'm having too many uh, performance issues. It feels really good still. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this feels at 40 hertz at 40 FPS, because it is a shooter and this game does feel uh, the best when you're running at high frame rates. So wondering if we can get away with playing this at 40 FPS. Or maybe even 30. 30 FPS might be pushing it, but we can always try it out. Alright, let's go ahead and try this out at ultra settings. Alright, we're in the game at ultra settings now. Definitely not as bad of a dip as I was expecting. I was for sure expecting us to be in the 40s and 30s at ultra. We are running this at native, 
And we're still holding 50. That's our peak so far. I'm not seeing it go by 50 yet. But obviously, oh, there we go. We just hit 60 FPS. But obviously, I would expect us to fall into the low 40s and even high 30s at this point in the more intensive scenes. All right, I went ahead and actually capped our FPS to 30. And we are running the game at ultra settings still. I just wanted to see if we can hold above 30 or consistent 30. Looks like we can, but the game's feel is far, far worse. Especially after playing at 50 to 60 FPS, coming down to 30 just feels pretty awful. Now, if you've already played this game or tried it out on the Switch, that mostly runs at 30 FPS, so it's got the same feel, so you can get away with doing that as well. Uh, we're playing the game at 880 by 800 right now. This game does look pretty good. Don't really see any blurriness. The game is very fast paced, so it's kind of hard to actually focus on the small stuff. Uh, now, the FPS is sitting in the 40s and 50s, so it's not a huge improvement, but it will give you some extra GPU headroom by using it for some. Alright, I went ahead and actually changed the settings up a little bit. Do a balance between low and medium. You're in a game where it looks good. But we're getting 80 FPS. 70 to 80 FPS, which is fantastic. Way above 60, so we've got plenty of headroom to cap the FPS to 60. Or 40 if you want to save some battery life. But so far, we are holding a steady 70 to 80 FPS. Lowest we've seen it was 70. It's running so smooth. Alright, like having the FPS to 40, we can see that we're pulling 10 watts. That was the thing I was hoping for at the start of the video, and we actually are pulling 10 watts. It's going up a little bit, but mostly around the 10 to 15 watts is, is a sweet spot. It will give us, if it's 10 watts, it will give us 4 hours battery life. If it's above 10 watts, then 2 to 3 hours battery life. Our GPU and CPU are sitting at 60 degrees. This is with the updated fan curve. So the fans are running slower than normal, just to keep the noise level down. Now I'm going to also mention that 40 FPS feels really good in terms of how the game feels and how it controls. It feels very similar to 50 to 60 FPS. It's not as good, I guess, but it's so close to how it actually feels. So if you plan on playing at those highest settings and you want to cap your FPS, then I would go with the 40 FPS cap. 30 FPS just feels just not as good, you know, it's just, the aiming isn't as fluid. So I would go with 40 FPS if you can. And if you're playing at those lower settings, like low and medium, then you can obviously just cap your FPS to 60 or 40. Uh, let's go ahead and try out FSR one more time. All right, using FSR at 580p, we can see that GPU usage is down to 45%, almost 50%, while it was running at 60 to 70% at many res. Game still looks good. Power draw is still at 12 watts, which is kind of sad. I was expecting for it to come down a little bit, but I guess it's not that much of a difference. So you can just play at native if you really want, since our FPS is so consistent at that point. Alright, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Feel free to give it a like. And that's up to the channel, we highly appreciate it. See you next time.